Well, hi guys, this is Yasin Zainun and welcome to this tutorial of Illustrator. Today we'll be learning how to wrap an image or a vector around uh, a 3D cubes using the, the 3D extrude effects in Illustrator. It's very easy and can give a really fantastic result. So it's really very developed and very easy to and comes very handy when using or when dealing with 3D objects. So so for example I have I will I want to make a 3D from this layer and I want to map to map the this objects or this art around the, the, the tree of size of that cube. So how can we do that? So it's it's very easy. So uh, first I have three three uh, objects or uh, three layers here and I want to make this I want to make them as uh, samples. You know how assemblies are very pow very powerful in Illustrator, and then when when I go to filter 3D, I'm going to wrap them or to map them around the, my my art. So, so the first thing I do, I will grab or drag uh, these objects to my symbol icon right here. If this is not show up, you can go to Window and and choose uh, symbols. And so I click and drag to my service. Then the uh, panel shows up, asking me for my name. I will call it live. I leave everything as uh, by default. Movie clip or graphic they are uh, the same. So I click OK, and here my my art shows up. Same thing for my second object. No, and then I drag. I call it no. I hit OK. I do the same thing I do for the guarantees. Number three, I click and drag. I hit or I name it guarantees. Okay. Now I can delete my objects. I don't need them no more because this I, I have them as a symbols. I can I can whenever I can want to use them. I can just click and drag, or I can eat them here if I want to eat them. Uh, so if, then. Then I I'm going to to make a new rectangle. I will make it 100. I hold my shift to make it to constrain the proportion. I will make it 109 millimeters. Okay, so I fill it with a whatever color because I'm or because I'm going to uh, to wrap this with those uh, symbols. So now I go to. Uh, all effects 3D and I choose extrude and bevel and here the window shows up so I leave everything as default I, or I may play what whatever I want I mean it's something like this or I can play with numbers here okay and then I'm going to make the the length because do you remember we made our our rectangle 109 millimeters so that the uh, I want to make it 170 170 sorry 170 millimeters but why I, I only take uh, takes two millimeters only for perspectives view etc because when we are dealing with perspective they are diminishing etc so then I just have to preview this is my my shape so now I'm going to choose map art and map art I have here I uh, wish another window shows up it tells me it has here a preview another preview it shows me w what art I'm going to wrap here and look here in the in my objects you are I have for example surfaces from 1 to 6 I have six surfaces when I click next okay so here a red rectangles difference or change whenever I ch whenever I change the surface so I choose this surface which is number one and here I choose a symbol the symbol I'm going to or I want to wrap here so I choose live okay and it has wrapped okay I can scale to fit to fit it perfectly and then I'm going to search for the next uh, the uh, two surfaces to wrap so next 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 here it is so we see it's highlighted here in red so then I choose the symbol I'm going I want to wrap or map there 
so and then I changed uh, my guarantee sample it's okay so you see it, it, it's reflect uh, it's reflected but I'm going to uh, to edit that or to modify in the symbol so I scale to fit to make it perfect then uh, I still need one which is going to be number six then I go and choose my another my third symbol which is no okay it's uh, take it some time it fits perfect I think so but also I will go into click scale to fit to make everything perfect okay so now uh, I uh, sometimes you, you may have uh, uh, shadows there shown in your in your art you may uh, disable invisible geometry so you don't you don't see those effects of from the 3d so um, it is, it's not uh, bothering my art so I leave it visible and then I hit ok and ok again it says my gradients will be rasterized so yes if um, because I'm using some gradients in my uh, in my samples and to, it's, it's not to be willing to to be fully to, uh, rasterized but partially so I, I don't mind I keep I hit ok now I want to modify my symbol here because I'm going to I want to rotate it a little bit so I go I double click on my symbols here and the new window shows up telling me okay here is my symbol so what I'm going to do I'm going to rotate it so I take my hand I hold shift and I rotate it 100 on, or 90 percent okay and then I just hit hit this uh, arrow here or I hit uh, escape on my keyboard and it's and uh, look it's hard totally fit on my art so it's so easily in very easy steps I uh, I could wrap very very uh, beautiful and nice uh, art so this is uh, this is for the 3d extruded and 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 bevel so wh what about it's also for the revolve for example I would choose a color a bluish like color and um, I will go to take my pen tool I draw a basic uh, bottle shape so I click here on drag okay next with that I don't know to make them I simply make these this this uh, amount of a bottle click here make another one and click then here also for the neck and then for the body maybe a little bit to the left and go right way down sorry way down and click too much yes and go right here almost in the mid yes and now I go to effect 3d and I choose revolve okay so here and I hit preview to see what did I got uh oh yes this is the worst boss I had ever seen so I play with this a little uh, to hide that she doesn't know more that's uh, pull in the middle show then I go it's okay this is just I can you can modify after you apply the 3d effects you I can play you go with play with until I get to the shape I really want so now I go to map art and here look you may I have more a lot of uh, surfaces so it depends on your shapes and objects if you have a complex shape you may have a lot and a lot of of uh, surfaces so here you may have hundreds and you have to navigate it between them to find where it actually your surface or this so I want to, to map the this symbol around around this surface here so um, I start navigating this one now yes I think this is it so here I'm going to choose an, maybe I choose this, this column here okay so 
so we, this is my R cell I'm going to click here and and drag to fit on my on my safe you see it did it did fit perfectly maybe a little more yes if you say scale to fit it will it will map our all the the surface even behind the button which is going to be um, uh, an, an ugly shape so it will be better only to to map around the surface which is seen from the from uh, the point of view so I click and drag again to map like this one then I hit ok ok again ok now I can play with my shape now as I said whatever as I want ok so to get uh, an effect that I want so I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much